Water, water everywhere, but nor a drop to drink. Or is there? Hey guys, welcome to the Prepping Preacher. It's Brother Tim. I'm so glad you're here. I hope God's truly blessing. Hey, for the next few videos, we're going to be filming. We're going to be looking at water purification. And let's just look and see what God has made. How beautiful is that? But like I said, we're going to be doing some water purification. Stay tuned. Hey guys, as I said, this is the Prepping Preacher. I'm so glad you're here. I hope God is truly blessing you. Hey, uh, before we get started, let me tell you uh, who I am and what we stand on. I am a preacher of the gospel of Jesus Christ, and I am a prepper. And this channel is pro-God, is pro-family, pro-life, pro-guns, that's Second Amendment, pro-military and vets, and pro-police. Uh, if any of those offend you, well, I guarantee you there's another channel out there that's got your name on it. This isn't probably it, because you're going to get offended. But, now, the ones that have been with me, uh, thank you. God bless you. And we're going to continue with our Grid Down series here. A Grid Down, what happens if a power grid goes down for any length of time? Uh, one thing is, the water treatment plants are also going to go down. So there's not going to be any potable, that is, drinkable water. Alright, so... We need to be able to get drinkable water. When I say drinkable water, drink water that's used to wash your dishes, water that's used to cook with, water that's used to drink, water that's used to brush your teeth, anything that you would ingest, it has to be treated. Because, guys, I'm telling you, if it's not treated, a wealth of problems could happen. When we were shooting the, 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 the front end of this, we were at a creek here in the great state of Tennessee, and uh, beautiful waterfalls, and we were getting water and getting uh, some footage. And uh, there was a young man, there was a family, and there was a young man with him, maybe five, six years old. Well, he decided he was thirsty, so he started drinking out of the out of the water there, unfiltered and untreated, until his mom and dad caught him and made it. Buddy, they had a fit because uh, there's so many things he could pick up, so many pathogens he could pick up. Number one, you don't know what's at the headwater. You don't know what how what's coming down that in that water. Uh, there could be anything, anything from uh, uh, typhoid, cholera, hepatitis. Uh, there's salmonella. There's a uh, cryptosporidium, uh, guardia. There's so many different things that can be in that water. So we've got to try to purify the water so that we can use it uh, to eat and, and drink and uh, to do our dishes and our, our brush our teeth. So we're going to start looking at different ways. So stay tuned. Now the first one, and this is the by hands down number one way to purify water. That is by fire. Purifying by fire. Amen. Uh, boiling the water. That gets rid of all the uh, pathogens that could be in that water. Uh, you've got to get it boiling. Okay, a rolling boil, so to speak, uh, for at least a minute. Now they suggest one minute to, uh, and then higher elevations, three minutes. Listen to this old preacher. Go ahead and do it for three minutes. It's going to just cost you another two minutes but you're going to be on the safe side and and gil, kill the pathogens. Now, as I said, pros, it's 100% kills the pathogens because you're boiling them. But the cons of it, well, first off, uh, you got to have something to boil it on. you got to be able to build a fire. You may be in a position where you can't build a fire. You may be on the move and can't build a fire. Uh, it takes time to build that fire. It takes time for it to get to boil. And also, it takes time for it to cool off before it can be usable as a drinking water. So, there are some cons to it. Uh, but it is, by far, the number one way to kill the pathogens in the water. Now, the next one we're going to look at is a common household item. I hope you're stocking up, and that's bleach. Most of us, you should have this. You should be stockpiling this. It doesn't take a lot of bleach to purify a lot of water. Now, the bleach doesn't do 100%. It's the 99.9999% of killing the pathogens. But you you got a better bet using it if you don't have anything else and you can't start that fire. Uh, you've got a, a good chance of killing the pathogens. All right, and I'm just talking to standard. This is a great value bleach. Uh, I can't remember the cost. I'll put it up there. 
not very expensive. This right here is uh, uh, two, uh, two and a half quarts of it, so a little over a, a half a gallon of it. Uh, and it wasn't that expensive. It's, and it's non-scented. you got to get the non-scented. Now, also what you need to look is on the label, you'll see how much is contained of the uh, hypochlorite, okay, sodium hypochlorite. You need uh, between 5 and 9%. Uh, now, you can get the 1%, but it's not as effective. You'll use more of it. And most of them that I've run up on are 7.5% of the sodium hypochlorite. I'll put, the, I'll put that up here so you'll see what it is. All right, with that at 7.5%, uh, one gallon of water that you're wanting to purify, well, they say eight drops. Well, I don't like doing eight drops. I like using a teaspoon. I can measure better that way. It's how I cook. And it's a little less than an eighth of a teaspoon. So you see what I'm saying. It doesn't take a lot of this to do uh, a gallon of water. And so you, what you're doing, and we'll show you here, but basically you strain your water. Uh, you can use cheesecloth. We use, uh, a lot of times, just a clean white uh, cotton t-shirt to pour the water over. It's, it's just more available to us in the cheesecloth. And uh, we'll pour it through and strain it, making sure that there's no debris in it. Uh, after we've done that, we put in our eighth of a teaspoon of bleach. We stir it up, and then we let it uh, sit for 30 minutes. you got to let it sit for 30 minutes. Now, the cons of it, well, uh, it's got a little taste to it. The next field expedient way of purifying your water is the Porta Aqua. Now these are tablets and I've got the Porta Agua plus, uh, with the PA Plus. Uh, what this is, is this is a tablet variety. It has iodine. So if you're pregnant, don't use these. Uh, if you have thyroid problems, don't use uh, iodine because it can cause a problem. The PA that's added to it, that uh, eliminates the iodine and the aftertaste and everything with it. Uh, but these you can pick up on Amazon. I think they're about $8. Uh, pick them up at Walmart, and they're good to carry with you. But they're not real conducive for doing large amounts. This is more if you're hiking or uh, out there running, uh, you know, uh, trying to uh, go through the woods, traverse the woods. Let's not say running. But uh, you understand what I'm saying. This is a field expedient because what it is, uh, it tells you to, uh, to do, uh, there's 50 tablets per so you can do 25 quarts, roughly, is what it is. But you, you, you drop in two tablets per quart of water, uh, most water. Uh, again, you strain the water. And um, we, have a, we have a bottle. And we'll show you. you know, I have a, it's a liter bottle, but it's real close to a quart. So we'll go ahead and do it. Okay, as you can see, here's the Porta Agua. We get two tablets out of there. We've got a liter of water. We drop them in. Now, what they suggest is that you cap it loosely so that the threads, but see, mine don't have th so much the threads, cap it loosely so that the water can get on there. All right, moisten it, and then we shake it up. All right, shake it up kind of loose so it gets on the threads. Then sh keep shaking it. Now, same thing here. Just like the bleach, leave it 30 minutes. All right, after 30 minutes is up, then if you've got the, the set with uh, the set with the uh, PA plus, okay, I'll get it turning here. Then you take the PA plus, and what you're going to do there is you're going to wait the 30 minutes, all right, and then add the PA plus to it. I had two tablets, same same deal. So you got 50 tablets there. You add two of them to it. And that will remove all the, the aftertaste and all to it. So there's your second one, the portable agua. All right, the last one we're going to look at today uh, on this video is the uh, Sawyer. It's the Sawyer Mini, as a matter of fact. Uh, this is it here, the filter in itself. Um, and what it does, it does uh, 0.1 micron, which covers just about everything out there in North American water. Uh, except viruses. It will not stop viruses and it won't do chemicals, okay, uh, if there's chemicals been put into the water. That's something to consider. But field expedient, 100,000 gallons, 20 bucks. You can't beat this thing. I carry it with me in my go bag. Uh, because if I'm having to use that, uh, that means that it has really gotten rough uh, is what's going on. Uh, I don't use this. I wouldn't, I wouldn't suggest using this for your house filter. We'll, we're going to have another video of it. Uh, coming up of what I use for the house filter. But with the Sawyer for 20 bucks, you get the filter itself. All right. 
you get the 16 ounce squeeze bottle that you use to procure the water in and you also get a drinking straw so that you can actually hook this up okay to the clean end put it in the water and drink just like uh, that one filter out there that we'll never mention again because of their politics uh, so you've got a, a straw there that you could use if you want I, I'm not necessarily one that likes to get down into the water put my face in it I want to keep alert and watch what I'm what's going on so that's why I like uh, being able to put it in the bag plus I can fill that bag and keep moving and get that water filtered later down the road uh, and you'll see I'll show you here how we do it and also with uh, with it you get the cleaning plunger which this is used with clean water you backwash your filter system so you don't leave stuff in there so now 20 bucks you can't beat this thing I'll put a link down below it's a Sawyer water filter it's good to have field expedient in other words you're on the move uh, but I wouldn't it necessarily use this for the house. It, it will work for the house in a pinch, guys, uh, if that's all you can get. Um, I know there's uh, there are catadine out there uh, filters. Uh, cheapest I've seen of them are about 80 bucks, uh, onwards up to three, four hundred dollars. If you're going to go three, four hundred dollars, then you need to look at the Berkey, and uh, we'll talk about that in the next video. But following to the creek here. Now we're here in our area, we're graced with some beautiful water, beautiful running water. And that's what I try to get is a running water. But this will work on pond water, on puddle water. But we'll get over here where we got a good stream coming. Fill up her bag. That's all she wrote. All right. All right. So once you've procured your water, it's as simple as taking the lid off. And that's the great thing about the pouch is that you can tote it with you everywhere you go, you know, with the with the dirty water in it, all right? Now it's just simply pop that off, and whatever drinking container you've got, it could be a canteen or one of these stainless steel water jugs. Uh, let me put the cap there so I don't lose it. And now we just squeeze the water through. All right, nothing to it, but take your filter back off, cap it. If you've still got water in it, put the cap back on it, and you can pack it on out. It's good field expedient. It stops all the, uh, um, it, it will stop all the stuff except for viruses. It'll stop the bacteria. So the salmonella, uh, all that different stuff will be stopped with it. All right, but now you've got good, clear drinking water. That's all there is to it. Well, if you made it this far, well, God bless you. I appreciate it. I, I do. And hey, if you liked what you've seen, uh, man, hit the thumbs up. Uh, and if you hadn't subscribed, uh, it's amazing. A lot of the videos, 80% uh, are unsubscribed. So hit that subscribe button and you'll get the new ones. And that pushes it up to the top so more people can see. Uh, but this shows you uh, what what you can do here. Under 20 bucks, uh, guys. Uh, fire number one. Number one, it'll get rid of everything. It'll get rid of the viruses. It'll get rid of all of the, of the bacteria in there. Uh, fire's number one, but sometimes you're not able to do it. Bleach, another good one here. Uh, bleach is a good one. The aqua, uh, the aqua tablets are, are good things. They're iodine, though. So remember, if you're pregnant or have thyroid problems, watch those. But then you get to the Sawyer. And the Sawyer Mini, guys, you can't beat it. 100,000. Uh, 100,000 gallons, uh, that would take care of you. And it's a great it's a great item to have in your bug out. And if you had to, you could use it at the house. But we'll look at other house filtration systems on our next video. So guys, uh, again, thank you for being here. If you've got a prayer request, be sure and put it in the, in the comments. Or if you don't want to air it out in public, uh, send me an email and we will pray for you. And also, if you want a chain going, we put that in the community, a chain of prayers. If you're really calling for prayers, uh, we'll put that in there. Uh, I have no problem with that. I don't think any of the congregation does either, but uh, that's, our, that's our first water filtration system. If the grid goes up, are you ready? Do you have a way of filtering water, of getting pure potable water? Guys, I love you and I want the best for you. And until I see you again, I pray God may richly bless you. Please continue to stand in that gap. This is the Prep and Preacher, guys. 
I'm out of here.